Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Uh, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the end, in case you're wondering why I, uh, have all fucked up Sky and sounds like there's goddamn Endermen everywhere, because there bloody well are Endermen everywhere, I mean, it is the end. The reason I'm in here and I've been standing on this wee little platform is because I'm waiting for, well, I'm waiting for this guy to respawn into a full Ender Dragon. And as you can see, this is how, at least I... My, I think this is how you do it now, because the vanilla method of using the um, end crystals d does not work. It does not recharge the egg uh, the same way that it does in vanilla. It, you gotta kind of hatch it. So it should become an adult ender dragon in about, oh, another 17 minutes. So I'm not going to concern myself with, with fighting this, this boy right now. I would very much like to, but we have not got time for that today. So I will save a uh, I will save harvesting him on a second round for another day, and I believe through uh, Draconic Evolution there is a way to basically farm him repeatedly. I uh, it's just a pain in the butt, but whatever it is what it is. Uh, let's talk about other stuff that's going on, which is not really yeah, a hell of a whole lot. Uh, I am happy to report that our deep storage unit, or rather our quantum storage unit, is working exactly as I need it to. And I have emptied out, you can see we have a lot more space uh, available to us now as I emptied out all of our regular storage of Infernium Essence. So we're doing much better on that side of things. We have nearly a million of this stuff, by the way. So I've been slowly ratcheting these up to uh, kind of keep the higher base level of these essences so that we can you know, use them without fear that we're going to just run out. The other new essence that we're dealing with now is a uh, Steel Essence, which I'm going to take that. And we're gonna set up on one of these crafters because I would like to uh, I would like to use the steel essence. Basically, I, what I'm doing now is creating essence um, is creating essence farms for stuff that we don't that is uncommon. Anything that is an uncommon ore, I have to alloy to get that is not get, uh, gotten through just sieving things. Uh, then we're gonna be having an essence farm for so that of course includes all of our energetic vibrant alloys uh, dark steel pulsating iron uh, what have we got on here so this is where I've been putting stuff we've got pulsating iron on this farm which I don't really need a whole lot more of so I've been kind of loading steel in here because that's uh, quite frankly much more valuable to us but yeah other than that not much else has been uh, excuse me been going on uh, oh what else did I do I finally I added another layer to the uh, tank for the XP, and finally, good god, finally hooked up everything on this side. But let's talk about our mob farm too, because I have been working on that guy. So here's where the mob farm's at. Uh, in order to make sure everything uh, goes into the middle, I have a bank of fans on either side pushing everything into the middle as a dedicated, like, push point. And... Spiders are still kind of a problem, but everything else just gets mowed down. I haven't changed this up yet, and, and quite frankly, I really should. I should also take this out and uh, get a better storage system for over here, but I don't really need one. Uh, we're pretty much okay doing what we're doing there. Um, other than that, I, I hooked up so that the XP drains from this farm into our tank so that we do get a higher yield from that. I have been debating putting fans around that center pillar and pushing down to make sure that things get put down into where they belong and changing, of course, the bottom out to just be straight down drop onto uh, mob mashers. I was also looking at Draconic Evolutions mob grinder which is kind of cool looking so let's take a look at that for just a hot minute but we're gonna need something special for that that i don't know a goddamn thing about uh where is that mob grinder we need awakened draconium to get awakened draconium uh which is in this case a draconium block we need draconic evolutions fusion crafting which seems real involved we're gonna need a dragon heart which we do have because we have killed the ender dragon as a, along with uh, one two three four five six draconic cores and four blocks of draconium and that will infuse into four awakened draconium blocks which is good because we do need that stuff but oh boy 
I really don't know how to go about actually making that stuff. So I'm kind of excited to learn this because that means we're going to be getting into Draconic Evolution, which is kind of an end game part of the hack. Let's take a look at our tab. So uh, like any good mod now, you've got yourself some sort of infograph or book that helps you out. In this case, it is a tablet and let's right click it and get it open. And so this is the, uh, this is kind of your guide to Draconic um, uh, Evolution. So it tells you literally everything you need to know, which is super cool, up to and including the spotlights from Direwolf, which is kind of neat. Um, we don't really need any of the other stuff, but let's just talk about progression. Uh, there is, like I've been talking about, a whole lot of different things that goes into this mod, starting with Draconium being kind of the easiest thing. I would like to make a Draconium Essence farm. That, I think, is really useful to us. Um, charge Draconium... Block is currently disabled. Okay, so that's nothing. But we can go back and take a look at cores. So there is a whole bunch of layers to this. The basic one being Draconic, then you get Wyvern, then you get Awakened. Draconic cores, if you guys remember from making the Wyvern bow, real simple to make. That's just Draconium, Diamond, and Gold. It, you should be able to make these actually fairly quickly in the game. Especially from looting, because you can easily loot as you guys saw quite a bit of draconium uh, at least for beginning stuff wyvern's a little different wyvern you're going to need to level up using draconic cores and nether stars tier three is the awakened cores this is where you're going to start getting into the fusion cost which isn't too bad i mean it is nine million rf but let's go take a look what's in our storage right now pretty sure we've got mm, significantly more than that we have got 225 million RF at our fingertips with this, but we are limited in how much we can transfer off of this guy. We can only really transfer using conventional conduits a max of 20,000 RF per tick. That is really not that much power when you're talking about 9 million RF. So how the hell do we transfer that? Well, Draconic Evolution to sort of the rescue there. If we look at Energy Network, you can see that there is a whole lot of stuff going on here, especially with these Crystal Energy I.O. Uh, basic ones will allow you to move 4 million uh, RF around. I think at least that's what my, my understanding of how it works is. And there is Crystal Relays and then uh, Wireless Crystal. It it goes on and on and on with, with more and more shit going on. Uh, it's interesting the way that this works, and I would like to know a little bit more about it. And of course... The guide is handy in that it will actually do that for you. So we want to be able to make upgrade systems. So this is how upgrades work. Increases the capacity of items applying to. Dig speed. Dig AOE. Ooh. Ooh. AOE effect of tools. So I guess that would be... This is how you upgrade Tinkers. Because in so many mod packs, once I get Tinkers tools... I've, I very rarely felt the need to actually upgrade to something different, especially because you can make them uh, run off of charge, upgrade them to incredibly quick mining speeds, looting, and all that stuff. But there's a there's a pretty hard ceiling on those upgrades, especially knowing uh, what we know about modifiers and that there is no new modifiers added, um, or no way to add more modifier slots, rather. At least in Sky Factory 3. Normally there are ways to do it, and I'm sure there's got to be a way to do it in Sky Factory. I just haven't found what it is yet. And that's kind of a shame, but I digress. Um, Draconic Evolution seems like that's going to be the final tier of tools, which is kind of exciting. Kind of exciting, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's take a look more at what we're dealing with here. Because I would very much like to make uh, a power system. Power would be good. Wyvern armor is kind of cool looking too. Wyvern Helmet. So that uses a Wyvern Core and a Wyvern Energy Core. Oh, that's not so bad. We can definitely make those. Okay, that's that's not so bad. But it would be a massive improvement over my Terra Steel stuff, which is still pretty good. I like the Terra Steel things, but we're not doing a lot with Batania. So kind of moot having that set going on. Now, where's Energy Storage in here? Mob Souls. Eh, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Generator dislocation. Dislocation. Mm, okay, so this is what I was thinking about using for the wither farm. Uh, I saw a design that used the dislocator stuff, and that looks like it might be really good. 
but we're going to need a lot more stuff before we can actually get into that. Uh, fusion crafting looks like it's kind of ridiculous. How do we actually set this thing up? Because we're going to need to build this. I feel like I need, I feel like I need to build a new island somewhere specifically for Draconic Evolution stuff. I may, in fact, actually tear this stupid thing out and build our... Because we have no need for this this random item or animal farm now. What I might do is tear that out and build my Draconic Evolution stuff kind of over here. That's actually not a bad idea, but let's, uh, let's deal with that later. So, fusion crafting, because this is more important to us right now. Basic, okay, so the lowest tier of crafting injector used for simple fusion recipes. Block of iron, okay. Okay, that's not so bad. But how do I actually, like, how do I do it? What is the actual fusion crafting setup? Aha! Just place the fusion crafting core. Okay, the setup process is actually fairly simple. Just place a fusion crafting core, then place fusion crafting injectors anywhere you like to the north, south, east, and west, above or below the core. All injectors need to be at least one block away from the core and be offset in any direction on their axis by one block. That may sound a little confusing, so take a look. As you can see... Oh, I get it, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. So the core goes in the middle, and then it doesn't... Like, mm, no, I don't want to do that. So, the what's the glass here? Each glass represents in a valid location for an injector. Ah, so you can put anything in that sphere of influence around that. Gotcha. So if we wanted to make a basic fusion and crap, let's make a... Let's see how many of these we can make. Now we're, now we're talking. Now we're talking interesting here. So let's talk about fusion... Fusion. Help if I spell it right. So there's our fusion crafting core, which is going to need a draconic core. Let's make a... Let's make a bunch of these. I believe we have some, but let's just put some more in there and take a look at this guy. So we need to make one of these, which should be easy. And then, I now I don't know how we get power into it. There's kind of a question. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with that. Now, if I wanted to, where can I put this goddamn thing that it makes, makes sense? Oh, how are you? You got out of my mob trap. How did that happen, I wonder? Unless there's not, not F9, uh, F7. I'm just trying to see if I will miss a spot for lighting. I don't think I did. Uh, we look like we're clean, so they must be escaping from there. Interesting. All right, well, let's put down, let's put down our fusion guy. Let's see what happens here. This will be, I guess, you know, how do you power it? Oh, you know what? Let's build this over here for now, because we don't need a lot of space for the time being. Let's pop this guy down here. I don't think I need to power it to your basic. So I want to go, if I want to go from Bo the Wyvern, that's how I, oh, that's how you put, oh, that is how you put upgrades on it. I understand. Arrow damage goes up. Gotcha. But we need infusion injectors, I believe. Let's make some of those and see where we get. I don't know where this is going to get us. So I'm going to build this guy up and we're going to see what happens. So I guess I'll be back in a minute. Okie dokie. We should be set up here. And here's the way I got this guy arrayed. It doesn't actually matter for positioning. I was wrong. These can be anywhere in, in this space. So they can be... Uh, each side has a three-way window. So that was the, they meant by the one axis. So these can all be one up, one down, uh, or left or right. Kind of thing. So like anywhere in that three by three um, and on each of these cardinal positions above or below and and obviously quite some distance away from this as well if for some reason we wanted a, a ton of space. But this is like I said just the basic one. So I thought what better way to test this within a basic recipe that will be useful for us which is slowly converting fusion crafters to wyvern level which is the second tier. So to do that to do that, what we're going to do now, uh, you don't. This doesn't require any sort of specific pattern of placement for the objects. You just need to have enough crafters for it, or injectors rather. So why don't we throw? To make it, we're going to throw this guy in the middle. That's our basic fusion crafting injector that we want to convert. And then we have ooh, no. I'll grab an empty hand here. I guess we don't really need an empty hand. I can right click on one of these guys and it should there you go so we're gonna need two draconic cores 
a wyvern core. We're also going to need a draconium block. And we're going to need four. Oh, god damn it. Okay, that is a little annoying that it kind of does the whole stack thing, but that's okay. Now we need four. So one, two, three, and four. Now the question is, aha, so as soon as I hit that, it tells me, do I want to start? I'm going to go, yeah, I do. And it's going to start crafting. Look at that. Well, this is kind of a cool animation. This reminds me a lot of uh, Thumbcraft. I do miss Thumbcraft and magic mods in general in this pack as it's such a tech-focused pack, but this is really cool. The reason I want these Wyvern cores and why you'd want these uh, quicker rather than labor, or not cores, Wyvern uh, injectors, is that you'll need them in order to do the, um, the next tier of stuff, which is the Awakened Draconium. You'll actually need that Wyvern tier uh, crafter to do. And, well, bam, one of these bad boys. Now, how'd that, uh, how'd that fuck our power up? Because that was 9 million RF that just moved in a real big hurry. Uh, kept up with the demand. I'm actually impressed. Ooh, we have a problem with Lapis right now. That's not good. Um, how are we doing here? Woo. That is a lot of Lapis Lazuli. Okay, so... Oh, what I'm going to do, because I don't need flint in this guy, is I'm going to take one of those out of there. Oh, I can't, can I? Because it's locked. Okay. Um, I'm just going to trash the lapis for now. I don't really need, I don't really need lapis, to be quite honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to trash lapis for, for a hot minute. We have got plenty. And I'd rather have this just empty itself out. Ah, there we go. Much better. Clearing itself out now. Whew. Got a little worried that we're going to have a lot of backlog, but we're fine. Uh, at any rate, uh, that is basics. That is the basics. Boop, take two. That is the basics of fusion crafting in this mod pack. And of course, you can mix these guys up if you wanted to have basics and other stuff. You need the minimum. I believe it is you need the minimum level of. And let's get rid of this nickel ore piece. I don't really care about you. Uh, you need the minimum level for your recipe. Uh, you don't necessarily, I think, have to use the basics for basic. You could use wyvern if you had wyvern going on. You just need enough of that levels uh, or higher, I think, is the way that that's supposed to work. Uh, the last thing I wanted to look at today is the energy core. Because that is sort of the top tier energy storage and how we're going to move shit tons of power around. Now let's take a look at that real quick. They look like a really cool... Um, really cool thing to, to fuck around with so I'm kind of excited so there's a whole lot of stuff we need energy core stabilizer is definitely something we need but it's this energy core here so we're gonna need okay so let's make a bunch of these guys because I can. can make seven more that's fine so we're gonna make two oh I don't have enough draconium for that well, we got plenty of dust, so let's just go ahead and smelt a whole bunch of this then. You can go in there, and that'll just smelt that down. So, the energy core, I'm going to want to have floating somewhere. Because it looks cooler when it's floating. And if we're going to set this area up as our draconic evolution, I'm going to tear this out and build kind of a cool platform at some point. So that it looks kind of neat. I'm not sure what kind of design I want to go for, so if anybody has a suggestion... Uh, by all means, let me know. But for now, let's see if we can make this core. Let's take a looky loo. So we need two of these energy cores. And, or rather, yeah, wyvern energy cores. And we want to make an actual energy core. So the actual energy core. Should we make two of those, six of those? Okay, so we should have... Ooh, we're missing draconic core. No, excuse me. Oh, I need oh, I need a I need a wyvern core for that. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Yay, okay, there we go. So we have that guy. How do we make one of these? Well, of course there's a tutorial in the uh, in the old tablet. But for this, all we're gonna need is one energy core and four stabilizers. 
And there's a build guide that it, I believe, projects. But we're going to need stabilizers. So stabilizers are made. Particle generator, and that becomes that. So particle generators, oh, that's easy enough. One, two, three. Oh, we're going to need more, more dem cores. That's fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Thank God these are easy enough to make, eh? As long as you got the draconium, you're pretty much in business. Okay, so there's those four, and then I'm going to take take those four, turn those in energy cores. All right, energy stabilizers. So let's say, let's grab an angel block. Where's our tools bag? I should have an angel block in the tool bag. I do. Come here, you. And uh, where do I want to put this? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make a call, and I'm gonna put it right down here. So that guy's gonna go there. I can pop the energy core down, and go build guide interactive core valid stable stabilizers invalid. I can't activate it. Build guide. Okay, so build guide doesn't really tell me anything. Ah, the tear up does. Okay, that's cool. Tear down. So I just need the four stabilizers. So let's go break and now how far away do these have to go in our final minutes here because it'd be cool if we can make this actually work four stabilizers and they need to go uh that's not really that clear stabilizers are an essential part of the core that will stabilize it blah blah blah, blah. if you're building a tier one to four this is simplest placing four stabilizers around the core within 16 blocks aha okay so, why, why don't I, ooh, that's not what I wanted to click, there we go. So why don't we go, uh, let's grab some cobble and plan this out. I'm, I'm probably going to have to break all this and move it once I figure out what the fuck I'm actually doing with my life. But that's fine, we'll, we'll come to that bridge when, I, when it happens. So let's say I want to go, let's do it the same way we did the, the core and do, oh, and do two out. I'm like, so, there we go, so then we'll put our stabilizers, I fucked that up, that's okay, we'll pick it up, uh, I'm gonna get underneath that, and then I'm gonna wrench it, nope, oh good, I can't just break that with a pickaxe, there's always that little bit of nerves, whether or not breaking something with a pickaxe is going to break it forever or not. And that is ingrained from playing early versions of Greg Tech and Industrial Craft. Uh, activate. So that activates. And look at that Draconic Core. Oh, yeah, it's adorable. It's tiny. It doesn't do much. But it's existing and it does work. Look at that. So you can kind of level these up as you saw. Uh, tier core, Tier 1 is really not good for a whole lot, I think. But it does function as an energy storage point. So we need a pylon for that. So where's the pylon at? Pylon. Ah, energy pylon. There we go. So, ooh, that's a little more expensive to make. That makes two of them, though. I guess one's for in and one's for out. Now, how does one actually set the pylons up? Uh, to set one up, simply place one within 16 blocks of core and place a block of glass either above or below it relative on its Y position. Uh, wait, uh, relative to the core. If the pylon is above the center of the core, the glass needs to be... Ah, okay. So if I make this pylon below... So if I put this guy down here... So let's say this guy. Let's say I put him right here. Let's grab glass. I'm wondering how this is really going to work now, because this is fascinating. I love exploring a new mod. Glass. Let's take some of that glass. And if I place it... Oh, look at that! Look at that. So that is now... I don't know what that's doing per se, but it is connected to the core. And how do I transfer out of that, I wonder? 
If there is more than one core, the toggle the pylon between input and input, simply right-click on the sphere. So, oh, okay, so I need an I.O. Okay, so the input... How do I know if it's input or not? Ah, okay, there we go. So it's going to be blue... Okay, it's kind of like thermal expansion and everything else like that. That's got to be output. That's got to be input. So if I... Where's a tie-in line? That's kind of convenient. There really isn't one, I guess. So as long as I can get within 16 blocks for the power line, I can start using this as my primary energy dump and charge and well actually just that's actually not a bad idea. What I might do is move my core more over here and then be that use that as the link for Draconic Evolution and the rest of my power as an extra sump kind of dump place. And we'll see how much power we can generate using that. But I think I'll work on that between episodes and see what we actually get with this guy. That's really cool, though. That's, that's really, really cool how this is working together. I love the multi-block aspect, and more importantly, multi-block that's not one contiguous structure that's actually interacting between blocks. Again, very much like Thomcraft, a, a lot like Blood Magic and other uh, magic mods. Very, very cool. I'm really excited to see how this plays out. At any rate, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. If you liked it, you know what to do. Please go ahead and leave a like. You can always find other work I've done in the description box below. And of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye!